that's a badger track. A badger's home in there. Nestled along the scenic shores of the St. Croix River in east central Minnesota, William O'Brien State Park stands as a testament to the state's commitment to preserving natural beauty and providing recreational havens for its residents. Today we'll see badger, beaver, and bobcat sign all throughout the park. Today we'll be on the hiking club trail for most of the time, starting off on the Woodland Edge Trail. Following that around northwest to the Rolling Hills Savannah Trail, which is not part of the hiking club trail. We will then go to the Prairie Overlook Trail. Back down. This would be the hiking club trail right here. However, we will continue past the Beaver Lodge Trail up along the Wedge Hill Savannah Trail. William O'Brien State Park was established in 1947 and owes its name to William O'Brien, a prominent journalist, politician, and conservationist in the late 19th century. As an influential figure in Minnesota's history, O'Brien played a pivotal role in advocating for environmental conservation contributing to the park's establishment. The park's 1,500 plus acres encompass a mosaic of ecosystems including hardwood forest, wetlands, and riverbanks. This diverse landscape provides a habitat for a variety of flora and fauna, making it a haven for nature enthusiasts and researchers alike. William O'Brien Visitor Center. The park's ecological significance extends to its role in the conservation of native species and the preservation of critical habitats. When we were there, we didn't see many cool animals, but we did see tons of cool sign, bobcat tracks, three beaver dams, beaver slides, a badger den and tracks, and deer tracks everywhere. The St. Croix River flowing along the eastern border of the park adds an extra layer of significance. Designated as a National Scenic Riverway, the St. Croix River is a protected water course, emphasizing the importance of safeguarding its ecological integrity. William O'Brien State Park contributes to the broader conservation efforts along the river, ensuring the vitality of this critical waterway. William O'Brien State Park offers a plethora of recreational activities for visitors of all ages. Hiking enthusiasts can explore over 12 miles of trails traversing different landscapes and providing stunning vistas of the river. The park's campgrounds offer a chance to connect with nature through overnight stays while the river itself provides opportunities for boating, fishing, and other water-based activities. The park serves as an outdoor classroom, providing educational programs and interpretive exhibits. Visitors can delve into the natural and cultural history of the area, fostering an understanding of the interconnectedness between humans and the environment. This commitment to environmental education contributes to a broader awareness of conservation principles. Like many natural spaces, the park faces conservation issues, including invasive species, habitat, degradation, and people throwing their litter all over the place that I have to pick up. The park's management actively engages in initiatives to address these challenges, demonstrating a commitment to preserving the park's ecological integrity for future generations. The park sits between Scandia and Marine St. Croix, Minnesota. The charming town of Marine on St. Croix, Minnesota unfolds as a hidden gem that seamlessly marries natural beauty with historical richness. Marine on St. Croix boasts a rich historical tapestry that dates back to the mid-19th century. Originally established as a French-Canadian lumbering and fur trading outpost, the town's historical district showcases well-preserved structures from this era. The Stone House Museum and a national landmark known as the Marine Mill stand as testaments to the town's pivotal role in Minnesota's early development.
the town's architecture contributes to its unique character. The historic district is dotted with 19th century buildings, many constructed from locally quarried stone, reflecting the craftsmanship of the era. The attention to architectural preservation underscores Marine on St. Croix's commitment to maintaining its cultural identity and sharing its historical narrative with visitors. The town is a hub in the area for cultural arts and community engagement. The town's vibrant arts community, represented by galleries, studios, and events, fosters creativity and community. Annual events such as the Marine Art Fair contribute to the town's lively atmosphere, inviting both locals and visitors to partake in cultural celebration. The town offers a beautiful backdrop sitting on the St. Croix River. The next closest town is Scandia, also sitting in the St. Croix River Valley. As its name suggests, Scandia is deeply rooted in Scandinavian heritage. Founded by Swedish immigrants in the mid-19th century, the town pays homage to its cultural origins through various landmarks, festivals, and traditions. The Gamel Garden Museum, an open-air museum with historic building stands as a testament to Scandia's Scandinavian roots, providing a window into the past. The town's commitment to historic preservation is evident in its well-maintained architecture. Strolling through Scandia, one encounters charming buildings, some dating back to the town's founding. The blend of traditional Scandinavian design and Midwestern practicality creates a distinctive architectural landscape that sets Scandia apart. Surrounded by rolling hills, dense woodlands, and the pristine St. Croix River, the town becomes a haven for nature enthusiasts. All these places are connected by the St. Croix River. Winding its way through the pristine landscapes of Minnesota stands a natural tapestry of ecological richness, historical significance, and recreational allure. The river's pristine waters carve its way through lush woodlands, rocky bluffs, and sandy shores, creating a mosaic of habitat. The river plays a crucial role in maintaining biodiversity, supporting a myriad of plant and animal species, and serving as a migratory pathway for numerous avian visitors. Beyond its ecological splendor, the river has deep cultural and historical roots. Native American communities, including the Dakota and Ojibwe, have long considered the river sacred. European settlers, drawn to its abundant resources, established communities along its banks, shaping the region's cultural landscape. The river itself became a highway for fur traders and pioneers, leaving an inedible mark on the history of Minnesota. The St. Croix River beckons outdoor enthusiasts with a plethora of recreational opportunities. I know this is really hard to see, but like, if I point it out, you can see one, two, three, four, and then, and that's a dog track, or possibly maybe a coyote, but a dog is by me looking at it. But look at this thing. There should be a claw right here, claw right here, claw right here, claw right here. So I've realized these are bobcat tracks, and I just uh, had that story about Minneapolis, that mountain lion in my brain. That these are just bobcat tracks. Yeah, this is a perfect environment for them too. I mean, look at this. They love living in stuff like this. Dense grassland, with some trees that can go up in canoeing and kayaking along its meandering course offer a chance to immerse oneself in the river's serenity. Fishermen are drawn to the muskie, walleye, smallmouth bass, sturgeon, panfish, and all the other fish species that inhabit the waterway. The scenic riverways provide a canvas for hikers, bird watchers, and nature enthusiasts to explore the beauty of the St. Croix River Valley. The river serves as a lifeline for the charming towns that dot its shores. From Stillwater to Taylor's Falls, these river towns exude character and history. It's called the Rolling Hills Savannah Trail Loop. It's not part of the hiking club trail, but we're doing it either way. Because why not? We're out here. And the dog loves it. Might as well do it, right? Yeah, you want to go on the Savannah Oak Trail thing. <laughs> I love that dog. Look at her. It's such a nice little dog. She's the best dog I've ever had.
architectural treasures such as the lift bridge in Stillwater reflect the town's heritage, while local businesses, events, and festivals create a vibrant tapestry of culture along the St. Croix. Recognizing the importance of preserving the St. Croix River's integrity, environmental stewardship initiatives have taken center stage. Conservation efforts focus on water quality, habitat restoration, and protecting the river's unique ecosystems. The St. Croix River Association and other organizations play a pivotal role in ensuring the long-term health of this vital waterway. Since we're seeing so many bobcat tracks, I'm going to go over some misconceptions and myths I've heard about bobcats. I'm pretty sure any bobcat attacking a kid that you hear about would probably be a rabid bobcat. Also, the kid is probably likely alone. I doubt a bobcat would do that with an adult around. Bobcats will like take your dog or your cat, but I've never heard of a bobcat going after a full-grown man or woman. It'd have to be a rabid cat. I can't imagine a healthy cat doing anything like that. I see how these cows see this Van Oak Trail. All these uh, trees with uh, those red leaves on them are all some cool subspecies of oak. Here's some useless facts about the American bobcat, Lynx Rufus, or sometimes called a wildcat, is a captivating and elusive feline species that roams the diverse landscapes of North America. Okay, this one intrigues me a little bit because I got really big hands and there's no good claw mark at all right here, right here, right here, or right here. Look at my dog enjoying this view. As a species integral to the continent's ecosystem, the bobcat serves as a symbol of adaptability, stealth, and the delicate balance that characterizes the intricate web of life. That big line is Wisconsin. That top tree line over there, and that's the St. Croix down there. The American bobcat, a medium-sized wildcat, is characterized by its distinctive tuft ears, short tail, and mottled fur, which serves as a natural camouflage in various environments. Known for their keen senses, these cats possess exceptional sight and hearing, enabling them to navigate diverse environments from dense forests to arid deserts. Their retractable claws and powerful hind legs are adapted for stealthy movements and efficient hunting. These cats are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats ranging from the Canadian boreal forest to the deserts of the southwestern United States. Their presence is vital for maintaining ecological balance as they play a crucial role in maintaining prey populations. Bobcats primarily prey on small mammals, birds, and occasionally deer, regulating herbivore populations and influencing vegetarian dynamics. So we're going to go 1.4 miles that way, just to get down there. It's that big loop for the hiking club trail, it's some nice pines. Bobcats are solitary and territorial animals with individuals occupying a home range that varies depending on the availability of resources. Their reproductive strategies are remarkable. Females are induced ovulators, meaning that mating triggers ovulation. After gestation period of around two months, a female gives birth to a litter of kittens, typically ranging from one to six to in a concealed den. While bobcats are resilient, they face various threats, primarily due to human-wildlife conflict. Urbanization, habitat fragmentation, and road mortality pose significant challenges for their survival. Additionally, the demand for their fur and the perception of bobcats as a threat to livestock have led to localized declines in some populations. Beyond their charismatic appearance, bobcats are indispensable components of healthy ecosystems. By controlling prey populations, they prevent overgrazing and help maintain biodiversity. Understanding and valuing the role of these cats in the ecosystem is essential for fostering a holistic approach to conservation that considers the interconnectedness of all species within the ecosystem. 
the American Badger, Taxibia taxis, is a charismatic and ecological significant mammal that traverses North America's diverse landscapes. Known for its burrowing prowess, distinctive appearance, and vital role in shaping ecosystems, the Badger stands as a testament to adaptability and resilience. The American Badger is easily identifiable by its stout body, short legs, and distinctive facial mask. Its powerful limbs and long, sharp claws are specifically adapted for digging, allowing it to excavate extensive burrow systems known as sets. This burrowing adaptation serves not only as shelter, but also as a strategic hunting method. American badgers inhabit a diverse array of ecosystems ranging from grasslands and prairies to mountainous regions. Their burrowing activities play a crucial role in shaping these landscapes. Badgers are considered a keystone species as their digging activities aerate the soil, promote nutrient cycling, and create habitat niches for other species. Their primary diet consists of small mammals, including ground squirrels and prairie dogs, helping control rodent populations. Badgers are solitary and territorial creatures, with males and females having separate home ranges. They are known for their nocturnal and strepular activities, utilizing their keen senses of smell and hearing for hunting. So we're cutting off the hiking club trail for the rest of the trip and we're going on the Wedge Hill Trail. Let's see how that is. Reproduction is a slow process for badgers with females giving birth to a litter of one to five cubs in the spring. The cubs remain with the mother until they are weaned, learning the essential survival skills during this time. The interaction between humans and badgers historically has been complex. While badgers are beneficial for agriculture due to rodent control activities, they can sometimes be perceived as threats to livestock or property. This is a perfect example of why there's so many bobcat tracks out here. Look at this. This is just like their playground. I mean, this is, you put a picture of a bobcat up, it's the same color as this stuff. Exactly. You'll never see one in here, even if it's five feet away from you. Human encroachment, habitat loss, and vehicular collisions pose significant challenges to badger populations. Understanding and addressing these challenges are crucial for the coexistence of badgers and human communities. Conservation efforts for American badgers revolve around habitat preservation, addressing human wildlife conflicts through education and implementing road safety measures identifying and protecting key habitats especially those with ample prey availability is fundamental i always notice little tufts of hair and stuff like this conservationists also work to dispel misconceptions about badgers promoting a more nuanced understanding of their ecological roles and the benefits they bring to their ecosystems Often considered a landscape architect, these animals play a keystone role in maintaining ecosystem health. Just found the third beaver dam of the visit. What beavers living out here? I always like to pick up stuff I find on the trail, whether it be garbage or something like this, it's frozen solid. Gross. I want to investigate this a little bit without disturbing it, but these are what badger tracks look like right here. I hope this thing doesn't come out and attack me. I can't believe they fit in a hole this small. That's a badger track. It's a badger's home in there. The badger's house is over there and just a few feet away, you can see where it's been foraging in here. Not too recently, but... There's no fresh badger tracks right here, but you can see it's digging for stuff. I don't know what it's digging for. By controlling rodent populations and modifying landscapes through burrowing, badgers contribute to biodiversity, soil health, and overall ecosystem resilience. 
Recognizing the ecological importance of badgers is integral to formulating effective conservation strategies. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have yourselves a great day.